I love this story of uh, uh, this this uh, trans teen, Kira Bell of the United Kingdom, told BBC News she was a tomboy as a child, and the sense that she needed to transition to a male occurred gradually as she read about it online. Bell soon went to uh, doctors and wanted help in making the transition. She was 16 years old at the time, and she went to a clinic. And after three appointments, which each lasted about an hour, they prescribed her puberty blockers because that's what she wanted. Right. A year later, she was prescribed the male hormone testosterone. You can't tell her, him, no. Well, you'd be be a hater if you told her no, wouldn't you? I guess so, yeah. So the testosterone helped develop male characteristics, facial hair, deep voice. It's going to do that. Uh, And three years ago, she had her breasts removed. Initially, she says, I felt very relieved and happy about things. But I think as years go on, you start to feel less and less enthusiastic or even happy about things. In the end... She decided to stop taking cross-sex hormones last year. Now she's 23 and noted to the BBC that she accepts her sex as female. Wow. After she made the transition to male. Uh, But she's also angry about what happened to her. She says, I was allowed to run with this idea that I had almost like a fantasy as a teenager. It has affected me in the long run as an adult. I'm very young. I've only just stepped into adulthood, and I have to deal with this kind of burden or radical difference in comparison to others, at least. Well, yes. Yeah. This is kind of what we've been saying. Maybe you shouldn't make the transition as an 8-year-old or a 16-year-old. If you want to do it as an adult, knock have yourself at out. Have, have at, at it. it. And we've, already, want... we've got other stories of adults that have... <clears throat> Regretted it, yeah. Years Gone later, back and, and many tried to times. struggle with it, yeah. Many times. So there's that aspect of it, but the other thing is, if the doctors had argued with her, what would have happened to them? They'd be haters. They'd be transphobes. Right. They they shut down their business. Yeah. Right. So she's going to. Uh, it looks like she's going to sue them now. And I know this is this is a question that always gets asked. It's just about you know what about the parents. Where, where, where were you, they? Where, where, what are you doing? Where were you? And, and are they? Are they? And if they're for it, aren't they just as culpable? <laughs> yep. Yes, I mean, they are. They're just as yes. responsible. For and that's that why it's, it's so despicable to see the parents who will who will do that and help them through it, even younger, help them make the transition when they're seven or eight years old. Yeah, uh, he wants to be a she, so we're gonna go with it. Wait, you might want to hold off Let's on hold that up. a little bit. Tell you what, he. Go ahead and wear a dress. Yeah, whatever. I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. Put a dress on, wear your shoes, do whatever you want to do. That's fine. Yeah. I'd but rather we're not you doing didn't. physical, <laughs> actual uh-huh. medical changes. Yeah. yeah, let's not actually go under the knife yeah. here quite yet. Yeah, no. Let's not do puberty blockers. No. Let's not go no, under no, no, the no, knife. No, 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 no. no. You I were just... given to us as a male. Yeah. Uh, I know mm-hmm. that you're having a difficult time accepting that as a seven-year-old. Uh-huh. So... Here's a nice blue dress. <laughs> and here's some little slip-on shoes. And you go, gosh darn it. You Knock look, yourself out. You look pretty. And here's a wig. You look pretty. Go you look ahead. beautiful. Put some lipstick on. You're beautiful. Whatever. I, 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 seriously, I'm right. okay with that. Because. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, what? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would I, would I prefer no, not, not to? Of yes. Course. Of course. Of course. But, of course. But, yes. but if, if that. Yeah. Is something that is making your child. If get it's going the to, day, yeah. If it's going to help you okay. have mental health, yes. Because you feel so strongly that you're a girl right now. Okay. And you talk with your child. Hey, look, this is you know. You know, maybe it's a phase you're going through, it's and fine. they do I sometimes. Can, right. They do. Yeah, we had friends uh, twenty or thirty years ago who had a, ch- a young child, and he liked to put women's okay. shoes on. Put a dress on. He was two. Who among us has? You know, who you're not us? gonna, you're not gonna start thinking. Oh, okay, we need to transition him uh, to a girl. We certainly have been. We I have. Mean, now. That's the argument that they we've been... didn't. Then they're like, this is a phase he's going through, and it's okay. Uh, it's, it's okay. So okay. yeah, and you better compliment the dress too, because I spent fifty <laughs> bucks on that thing. <laughs> right, and it's only gonna fit him for you know six <laughs> weeks. So 
saying good things about it right now. I mean, dresses are comfortable. I'll admit it. I uh, really? I'll admit it. Yeah. Will uh, you? I mean, who among okay. us hasn't dressed up like a woman? I have. That's what I thought. Not you done. Everyone. That. And not everyone. Not everyone. Multiple times. <laughs>